So it's Monday and we are going to do the second half of our Easter egg post, but we didn't get that finished up yesterday. So that is going to be coming up. I'm hoping tomorrow if we can get it finished up tonight after ballet. But today I have some exciting news and that is that my 10 months is up or at least I was in the window for my 10 months for be, to be up for my healthy wage bet competition that I talked about a couple of months ago when I first started making these videos and I did it I won which was pretty exciting basically for anyone who hasn't seen the other video back in May I think it was May 30th of last year I made a bet. I found this, I was, I was reading an article and it was about ways to make, it was like, you can make money losing weight. And it said that there was a website called Healthy Wage and it had been on like the Today Show and Good Morning America and it had all these different sites that it had been on, which is basically what sold me on it when I went and looked at the different things that they had been on. And you could place a bet that you would lose weight and if you lost the amount of weight that you bet you would lose, you would win whatever they bet. They would give you an amount that you could win if you actually lost the weight. And if you didn't lose the weight, they get to keep the money that you bet. So I bet, and I didn't say I think last time what I bet, I bet $60 a month for 10 months, which was basically like my birthday money that I had gotten right before that right before that time when I placed the bet. So I bet $600 that I would win, that I would lose 40 pounds. And at the time, I remember thinking that if I came even close to winning, I would be happy because I would have been willing to pay $600 to lose that weight. And if someone was actually gonna pay me to lose that weight, I would be really, really excited about that. So I did it. And that, it was hugely motivating for me like when because up until that point whenever I would like start counting calories I would make excuses to myself like okay I'm gonna start next Monday and then I'm gonna start next Monday and I'm gonna start next Monday and I would keep putting it off but once I placed the bet I really did not want to lose that money and when I wanted to cheat on something when I wanted to cheat on the on basically what I did was count calories. I didn't put myself on a special diet. <laughs> when I wanted to cheat, I would go on and kind of like window shop and I knew that most of the my weddings were gonna probably go to pretty practical things. I mean we have five kids, but I would just think about what I could spend the money that I was going to win on and my winnings were going to be $1,200. It ended up being all together because I did a couple little challenges along the way. You can you can add the little challenges like for how many steps you take in a day. I did a step challenge along the way where it was also hooked up to my Fitbit and I won like $90 doing one of those challenges and I did an additional 6% challenge. So all together my winnings when I got the actual money the other day it came to I won let me look my winnings came to, let's see the screenshot, $1,496.40. So, I mean, not bad for that initial bet. And so, I mean, if if that is something that, if money is something that motivates you, if you, if you think money is something that motivates you, then this is definitely something to look into. Because, I mean, I had tried different things and that was definitely what motivated me. So basically the way it works is they have you weigh in and Paul helped me out and we got the scale out and you stand on the scale and take a picture, of the, and not take a picture, but take your smartphone and record the scale and stand on it and show the scale, show you turn it to the left, to the right, you know, all around to show that this is you and this is your weight. And the weigh out is pretty much the same thing. And then it asks, they asked for a little story, your, uh, the story of your weight loss. And they asked for before pictures and after pictures if you had any. Well, no, they asked for before and after pictures. And then it was really hard for me to find before pictures because I had like, I mean, I do have a lot of pictures of myself. Just, I mean, I blogged for 10 years and I do post on Instagram all the time, but like, almost all of the pictures from myself from the time when I was at my heaviest 40 pounds ago were like very carefully like angled on Instagram were like of 
my upper body and they were always like you know this angle like where my phone is like right here and my head is tilted and the angle is like perfect so maybe my face looks my face definitely looked fuller but I would pick like you know the most perfect picture where you could barely tell and there were very few before pictures and I think I found like <laughs> three that actually looked like befores where you could honestly see and most of those were taken pretty much for a healthy wage. That was why I took those pictures. Well, at least the one the one full picture. There weren't very many full pictures of me because I was pretty much hi hiding from full pictures or hiding behind the kids in most pictures. And then when it when I finally the day I finally did the weigh in, Paul and I were both that was like the height of the pink eye and strap, and so I'm in like my clogs and my pajamas in the after picture because I was like I want I want this done I want to send it in. Here's the egg. Paul Paul like managed to get himself out of bed, and he was really really sick that day, <laughs> and take an after picture for me and do the do the way out for me so that I could send it in right then even though he was he was really sick. I was pretty sick that day too. I mean I was definitely not doing well. But it was awesome to be done and to have it done and to have it confirmed and to have actually succeeded in this. It's always kind of awkward talking about these things. But I also wanted to share because it was something that I was excited that I worked hard. <laughs> And there were definitely days where it was hard. There were definitely days. I mean, I'm always cooking. I'm cooking three meals a day for five kids. And so there were a lot of days where I was cooking things that the kids loved. And it smelled great. And it was great. And I was either in the middle of intermittent fasting. And I wasn't in my window. Or I was done with my calories. Or I wasn't eating all of the same things that they were eating. <laughs> and so to stay in my to stay in my calories. I was really surprised with how easy I was really surprised with how easy I don't know. I I kept waiting for there to be like some complication with the part at the end where we where I actually got paid like are they actually just going to pay me? Like I won. Is it just going to and they just deposited the money in my PayPal and I transferred it to my bank and that was that. Like, it was that easy. There were absolutely no bumps. I didn't have to email anyone, contact anyone. There were absolutely no problems along the way. So that was easier. I kept waiting for them to like, are they going to challenge my way in? I mean, it was totally clear, but I could, I don't know. I didn't, I kept waiting for it not to be as easy as it was, and it was easy. So that was awesome. I had a super positive experience with Healthy Wage, and I would recommend it. If you are motivated by making money, if you're already trying to lose weight and making money motivates you and you really feel like you can do, like, if you feel like you are going to do it, then, yeah, then I would recommend it. Because that was, this was something, for me, it was like, I'm going to do it. I have to do this. I felt like I had to do it because I needed to be able to keep up with Maggie. I was starting to have a hard time. Like I had gotten so stressed out. I, I had been stress eating because of all of Tessie's medical stuff and I was getting to the point where I couldn't keep up with Maggie and I needed to be able to keep up with Maggie and I need to be able to keep up with Maggie just, I mean, because she's our runner. My like you can go to my post about how Maggie is such a runner and how she elopes how eloping is kind of part of her autism and so I need to be ready to run at any minute and she's really really fast and I need to be faster than her and so me being 40 pounds heavier was dangerous it was and I mean I need to be strong too to be able to to be able to keep her safe if she's freaking out and she's trying to get away so I have to be like not being in shape wasn't an option for me and it had gotten to the point where it was a problem. This is kind of like a midway point for me but I feel really good at having gotten to this midway point and now I want to keep getting more in shape. I want to get more back into running because I kind of fall, fell out of the whole running thing <coughs> when I got sick back in November and so getting healthy health wise back on track hopefully as the weather gets nicer again here in Michigan and just yeah so that is my healthy wage experience and it's been positive and yeah I would definitely recommend it 
tomorrow we'll be back on the Easter eggs, I hope. I hope we can get that done. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.